Craig has been active in the water sector for over three decades. And even though he has the humility to highlight how even veterans need to learn, I would trust him to have a bunch of insights to share. So here's my selection of the seven things to take home from my conversation and my hours of preparation and post-production with the CEO of Acomembranes. Number one, innovation needs grit and laser focus. One may think that as membranes are around for decades, they're probably pretty optimized, especially given the size of the giants active in the field. Yet Craig hits the nail on the head when he says, Torre, DuPont, LG Chem, Osmonics, Coke membranes, they have tried for many years and for whatever reason didn't have the tenacity or the naive nature or whatever you want to call it to say, oh, we can do it. Breaking new ground in water tech is not so straightforward and oftentimes, it's not something corporate players are good at. It's rather for those willing to be a little naive and stubborn enough to think they can outmaneuver these sleepy giants. It's about that unshakable focus on your piece of the puzzle, even when the big players hesitate. And yes, focus is a key word. Number two, sustainability, the new business currency. In today's world, sustainability is not just nice to have, it's your ticket to the game. Craig tells it straight. By Amazon or Facebook or whomever have customers that are demanding on them a sustainability score and a social contract to operate in our current environment. And so they're feeling that pressure all the way down to the point of this is no longer just a return on investment, it's now the social license to stay in business. This isn't about jumping on the green bandwagon, it's recognizing that your business's survival hinges on how well you incorporate sustainability into your DNA. After all, that's what customers, investors, and the planet demand. And there's a premium for the ones that deliver. Number three, tech innovations paving the future of water. Aquamembranes isn't just tweaking around the edges, they're aiming for a full-scale revolution. We want to change the entire industry. We want the $5 billion of spiral on elements that are sold every year, growing at a very big clip right now, to have a better design and that mesh is going to go away and that all those elements are done with printed space or technology. Craig is not just dreaming of incremental improvements. He's envisioning a future where their technology reshapes the standard for the entire industry. That's the ambition that drives real change. Will it happen? Let's discuss it again in insight number seven, but before that, number four, strategic investment, crafting the perfect blend. When it comes to fueling growth, Craig knows it's about mixing the right ingredients. We love both types of investors. The financial investors, Clean Energy Ventures, Mazarine, others are helpful both in capitalizing the business, but also thinking about future fundraising, exits, things like that, because they're financially motivated. And then I like to actually balance that with the other investors, Pentair, Carita, Micron, which are actually users of the product. End users are like, hey, just make the product and grow. Don't worry about profitability. Yeah, the venture people are like, yeah, we have to have a path to profitability. We have to see that. Aquamembranes seeks a balanced cocktail of savvy financial investors and strategic partners. It's about finding those who bring more than just cash to the table, those who can open doors, offer expertise, and accelerate growth. By the way, if that fits your definition as a water professional, Craig would probably hire you on the spot. Reach out. Number five, market adoption. Bold moves make the difference. Are you introducing a groundbreaking technology in a conservative market? Well, you'll need someone willing to invest on the idea. Somebody's gonna have to take a risk. Some executive's gonna have to put their career on the line and say, I'm staking my career on this, it's the right thing to do. And we don't see enough of that. It's about leaders brave enough to back the new kid on the block, showing the market that the risk is worth the reward. And the reward can be huge. It's definitely worth it. Number six, water's economic impact, undervalued but vital. Vital? Vital? Not sure. Craig puts things in perspective. Water enables economies more than oil does. This is a clarion call to recognize water not just as a fundamental need, but as a cornerstone of economic growth and stability. It's about shifting the narrative to see water as the economic powerhouse it is, deserving of our utmost attention and protection. And yes, I know I'm banging on that nail for a while with CDP reports $2.3 trillion business opportunity, or the XPV slash GWI white paper framed as the $12.6 trillion question, but it's simply true. Number seven, vision for change, more than just a drop in the ocean. Lastly, 
Craig isn't just tinkering around, he's plotting a course for significant industry transformation. He's looking at... A roll up with other innovative things in the membrane space that then goes IPO. This is not about aqua membranes going it alone. It's about joining forces with other innovators to create a new behemoth that could really find the industry and attract the spotlight and capital of an IPO. What do you think of that vision? I'd be curious to hear it. Come tell me in the comments. And there you have it, my seven insights from Craig Beckman in under seven minutes. If you disagree with my selection, tell me. And if you'd like to dive deeper, well, listen to the full interview. You can also jump straight into the chapter you'd like. I'm paving the road. Now it's on you to take action. And remember, that episode came to you free of charge, but I would believe not free of value. It takes me quite some time to put all of those together every week. So all I'm asking is for you to help me distribute them. So take this episode and share it with a colleague, a friend, your boss, or your team. And I'll be back with another one next week.